RL Craft, the hardest Minecraft mod pack ever made. Everything is made to kill you. Zombies can have superpowers, they're super strong dragons, heck even harvesting wheat can kill you. But today, I challenged myself to spend 100 days in RL Craft on an iPad. Day 1, I spawn in a pretty peaceful place in like a plains biome. Also, don't mind the fact that the water is white. I don't even know why it's like that either. But hey, at least I can run the game. I proceeded to find a structure that had a crafting table. So I collected some rocks and some sticks by breaking some leaves and made my first stone pickaxe. And while I'm breaking this cobblestone, let me tell you about the objectives for these 100 days. Objective number one, kill a fire dragon. Objective two, obtain and wear four dragon scale armor and dragon bone weapons. Objective three, tame a mount that allows you to fly. All right, after making some basic tools, I found a mega battle tower that usually contains a lot of loot. So I just broke some of the spawners that were easily accessible because I know for a fact I'm gonna die if I go inside. And after getting level five, I decided to choose the combat skill because it will give me extra XP when killing mobs. I also up my agility and my defense using the XP. When I tried breaking my fourth spawner, a blind wither skeleton spawn in, so I just immediately ran away. Blind mobs who have the purple fire aura have speed 5, strength 3, fire resistance and 20 extra health. I'm not dealing with that crap on day 1 bro. Also while I'm killing the sheep, if you're wondering how I'm running RL craft on my iPad, well I'm using an app called Pojav Launcher which allows you to play Java on any mobile device. Day 2. I made myself a stone saber. I also unlocked the dodging ability and found a village. I went up this tower which had tons of arrows which is really cool. There was also some iron armor but I can't wear it yet because I need to unlock defense 8. So I just got chain armor from this house instead. Day 3. I decided I was gonna live in this house. After exploring I found a battle tower so I tried to get some XP out of it. And when I tried to go to sleep the reaper spawned it. I can't even sleep without risking my death. Day 4. I just started building up next to the tower instead of going inside. Also, I have no clue who thought it was a good idea to put spawners on the top floor because it's not going to spawn anything. While going back home, I broke my leg and my feet, so I had to make bandages to heal them up because you don't regen naturally in RL craft. Also, if my head or bodies go down to zero, no matter how much health I have on my other limbs, I just die. So I basically only have three hearts all the time. The nymphs are the only nice mobs in this mod pack. Even drinking water can kill you. I also made my first bubble which gave me one extra heart. Day 5, I can finally wear iron armor. I also found a battle tower while hunting cows and just broke the two top spawners because they can't spawn anything because of daylight. Day 6, I did something that nobody does in our craft, which is mining iron, and then found a village, which had a cyclops living in it. And at night, I got attacked by an infernal Sith Lord zombie, which gave me weakness, poison, and put me in a cobweb, but I still managed to kill it with my bow barely surviving. Day 7, after mining some iron again, I decided to take down the cyclops because surely he dropped something insane, right? This guy couldn't even get out of his house, so I just spent my bow on him for 30 minutes. I started hitting him with my saber and I got a bit too close. <laughs> So I just went back to spamming arrows and finally killed him. All I gained from this fight was a miserable 3 levels of XP. Also, um, this is what it looks like when it's raining. Yup, it's also why. Day 8, I hunted some infernal mobs, found another cyclops, but I decided to just leave him alone. And at the end of the day, I got caught in a siren song, which was so strong it made my game crash. And after crashing a couple more times, I was able to make some earplugs between two crashes and I finally escaped the crashing loop. Day 9, I found a battle tower which I proceeded to cheese by building up on the side. There was a battle tower golem, but I proceeded to block its view, take the chest, and jump down. I ended up getting a few diamonds and a diamond block. Day 10, the tower started spawning tons of zombies for some reason, and one of them was Inferno and just summoned a lightning strike on me. I tried to get my stuff back but the same thing happened again. And on day 11, the zombie despawned and I was able to gather my items. Day 12, I made myself a potion ring of speed which gives me permanent speed 1 and a potion ring of strength which gives me permanent strength 1. I also got enough levels to get magic level 8 and make myself some extra hearts. I also crafted a soul gazer which allows me to study ages 
to hopefully be able to summon them with the summoning staff later on. Day 13, I found a small body of a fire dragon and later I died. And also died a second time trying to get my gear back. And another time. I got everything on day 14 though. I also found a new village with the bow tower but it only had one stack of arrows. Day 15 there were also some enchanting tables which I couldn't grab because I'm not matching level 12. Also did I tell you that you can die when the temperature is too high? At the end of the day I started sailing to find some structures. Also the water can be blue sometimes. Oh never mind. Back to white I guess. Day 16, I finally found land and there seemed to be a forest fire going on on it. So I went to check what was happening and uh oh, my screen went blank and I'm dead. It was the dragon. Since I died really far away from where I respawned, I just decided to continue living with what I had left. And at night, I took my anger out on some mobs. Day 17, I was kind of mad that I lost all my baubles, so I crafted myself a grave scroll, which I used to teleport where I died. I somehow was able to get most of my items and quickly ran away before the dragon realized I was back here. Yeah, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to use cheats to disable the rain. Day 18, I got attacked by a siren, which is another thing. Thing I'm gonna have to use cheats on because they just make my game crash and I don't want to corrupt my map. Don't worry though, I'm not going to pick up its loot at least. Day 19, I died again while exploring. This time because I drank dirty water, so I had to use another grave scroll. Day 20, I found a random wisdom so I can teleport back home, but I just decided to continue exploring anyway. Day 21, I found this wooden structure which I couldn't break any blocks in because it's protected by a powerful being which kinda scared me so I just put a marker on my antique atlas and just went away. Day 22, I just continued exploring and I found a nice dragon skeleton this time. Day 23, I found another one but way bigger. I was wondering what possibly could have killed it. Maybe this dragon. Got away using a recall potion though. Day 24, I decided to try and raid this dungeon to get some XP. Day 25, I left the dungeon and found this weird structure. It really looks like an awesome place to live in. I got a bunch of food, arrows, saddles, and also tried to lockpick this chest, but it was a diamond lock, so I just gave up. The reason I decided not to live in here is that the bottom part of the structure makes me lag for some reason. Day 26, I raided a battle tower and got defense up to level 16. Day 27, I found a village, but this one didn't have the RL craft style and looked like a vanilla one for some reasons. After exploring for quite some time, I stumbled upon a dragon which almost killed me, and so I got away with my recall potion. Then I decided to actually wear diamond armor now, cause iron armor is way too weak. Day 28, I was just exploring when I realized I accidentally came back to where I was. I mean, it was totally planned and I am definitely not stupid. Day 29, I found a defined land spot but it didn't have anything interesting. I also now have a high enough reaction team to be able to run away from dragons. Day 30, I found a village and three diamonds. So I decided to go back home and just started decorating the walls with the dragon heads I collected. It kind of looks like I killed them even though I'm just running away from them for now. Also since it's so hot and I have to go in water all the time to cool myself, I made some cooling goo which I turned into cooling liner and put on my boots which should make me cooler. At night I went to kill some mobs and I got attacked by a tiger and a lion, a deadly combo. The lion gave me weakness so I couldn't hit them and the tiger gave me weight too so I was unable to jump and run away. I even tried to use water, it didn't work. But I got the idea to use my boat and it worked and I managed to hide inside my house. Day 31, I started to realize that the cooling liners are absolutely useless and I keep on getting hypothermia. I also went into a dungeon to get XP, but it was a dungeon that only had mobs with insane amount of HP. So I raided this small pond which had no mobs and honestly the loot was not that bad. I ended up hunting wild mobs instead to get XP. Day 32, I tried to kill this rare zombie when I got hit by a mob out of nowhere and I got launched to outer space. I love RL craft. You know what, I'm just gonna fight some weight instead. Fight some weight. But I still got attacked by one two and three infernal mobs bruh and there are dragons everywhere around this village it's insane and at night i got attacked by two skeletons and some weird particles went straight to my face so i couldn't say anything and i died <sighs> i got everything back the next day as always and i just 
did some farming. Day 34, I made a level 30 enchanting station, but since I used everything to upgrade my magic skill, I didn't have any XP, so I just got level 1 enchants. Day 35, I finished up enchanting my shield and my saber, and I just saw a Jangu dance party in the distance. Yeah, no, I'm not going near that. Day 36, I came back to the Mega Battle Tower when I spawned on day 1, and realized there was a village right next to it. I wanted to try and loot the tower, but I got attacked by this weird spider called Trites, and it scared me, so I just recall potion out of there. I returned to it though on day 37 and started farming Vindicators. In fact, this was working so well it made my game crash. Twice. I continued farming them on day 38 until I got attacked 16 and building 8. Day 39, I made a diamond saber and a diamond crossbow. I'm also able to summon ages to help me fight against mobs now. Day 40, I killed chickens to craft bones, which I need to use my diamond crossbow. And on day 41, I thought that maybe I could kill a dragon now that I had diamond weapons. So I shot a bolt at it and it immediately looked at me and bro, I was so scared I jumped into a hole. When I tried to have a little peek, my screen went black, which is never a good sign. I then realized there was another dragon right next to it, which instantly started shooting at me, so I just recall potion out of there. I still need some better gear to kill it, and maybe fire resistance potions will help me out. And so on day 42, I went back to farming XP, and then I got killed by a trite. Bro, if this stupid spider can kill me even though I have more than 10 hearts, I can't even imagine what a dragon can do to me. Day 43 to 44, I honestly don't know what I'm doing. Like, I actually have no clue. Day 45, I found this bone structure and thought, wait, I can make bone meal out of this and get infinite XP by bone mealing some weeds. So I just mined a ton of it, and then I died by Shuptian Creeper. So I just sent my Aegis in to do the job for me. I also realized that I don't have enough levels to use bone meal. I guess I can say goodbye to my dreams of infinite XP. Day 46, I raided this battle tower. And by day 47, I had 23 levels and I killed two infernal husks, which put me at level 25. Day 48, I went back to the mega battle tower to get some more XP. And I also took my first fight against a blight mob. Thankfully, it was only a witch, so I didn't have to experience a painful hand-to-hand -hand combat. Black mobs also dropped 40 times the normal amount of XP, which is awesome. So on day 49, I was able to get a protection 4 enchant on my diamond chestplate. Yo, yo, Peta, why are you going back in the dungeon? You still have 30 levels. If you die, you'll lose everything. Okay, now I'm back home and got a terrible enchant on my leggings. Also, why is this nymph so big? Oh, and now it's dead, I guess. I then went in this underground dungeon because you never have enough levels in our aircraft. And on day 51, I got out of the dungeon and looted this battle tower. And why do none of these have a golem and have terrible loot? I'm so unlucky. At night, I spammed my sleeping bag to spawn a reaper and get obsidian to be able to make a nether portal. Day 52, I attempted to do the underground part of this battle tower, but there were so many things spawning, I went back up and sent my Aegis in to do the job for me. Day 53, I farmed the zombies in this battle tower until I got level 34, and used everything to get my defense up to 20. Day 54, I found a new village, and this house had a booby trap to kill any intruders. Nice try, villagers, but you won't get me like that. Day 55, I found another battle tower, and it had a blaze spawner, which is exactly what I needed to make fire resistant potions and kill a dragon. So I started killing these blazes, and one of them put this tree on fire, which spawned cinders, which are pretty strong mobs that pots everything on fire. At some point, I kind of spawned a bit too many blazes, and I got killed. When I came back, a zombie had stolen all my armor, bro. What the hell? Imagine if this was an inferno or a blind zombie. I got 11 blaze rods at the end of the day though, which is pretty good. Day 56, I made a brewing stand and some magma cream and I realized I was gonna need nether wall to make potions, so I spawned another reaper to get obsidian. Day 57, I had enough levels to use a diamond pickaxe, so I made one and enchanted it with efficiency 2. And I mined obsidian on day 58, which was way better than killing reapers. After I made the nether portal, I tried spawn out of it 2 seconds later. This mod pack really cannot give me a break. D59, I gathered my courage to go into the nether and I spawned at the best place possible. It had soul sand and nether ward which is exactly what I needed so I got them and dipped. The nether is insanely dangerous in the RL craft. 
At the end of the day, I brew some fire resistant potions and killed rocks to get feathers and craft bones. Day 60, I continued killing rocks and got struck by lightning. Day 61, I continued killing rocks and making bones. Day 62, I added two pouches to my tool belt so I can fit more items in it. I also tried using morphine against parasites, but it didn't do anything. Day 63, I felt like I had enough bones, so I made a new diamond crossbow, and on day 64, I put my power 4 book on it and called it Dragon Killer. I also increased the length of my potions and brew some recall potions. Day 65, it was finally time to kill the fire dragon, so I pulled up the hand cam to show that I'm actually playing on my iPad and not cheating. The fire resistant potions were working insanely well, I was not taking any damage. That was way too close bro, if the dragon starts biting me, I am all 100% dead. And after taking a little nap, it was time to finish the fight. And sure enough, on day 66, I finally killed it. I got two bottles of its blonde and got some dragon skills and dragon bones. I was a happy man. And now that I have a heart of dragon, I can make a dragon canteen so I don't have to worry about parasites anymore. Yay! I also started making dragon scale armor, but I accidentally made two leggings. Oops. I also made a flame dragon bone in Chaku, which is pretty much the best weapon in the game. Day 67, I went back to killing dragons. This time it pretty much never attacked me, so I killed it pretty easily. This guy didn't drop a single scale, which kind of sucks. Day 68, I went in this underground dungeon which had weird scorpion mobs and I spawned way too many again and they gave me the wave 2 effect so I couldn't go up even using my grappling hook. I also couldn't use my recall potion because of the adventure effect and so I just died. I don't think I have to tell you that I always die a second time anymore. After clearing out the area, I took on one of the bosses which is a jilted great worm but I just had to spam arrows at it and it killed it. And you know what? It didn't even drop a single orb of XP. Day 69. All I did is craft two extra hearts. Nice. Day 70. Time to kill my third dragon. Another yellow one. This one went pretty smoothly as well. And this time it actually gave me some dragon skills. I also enchanted the diamond saber with education 3. Which increases the amount of XP mobs drop. I also crafted four dragon skill armor. The enchants on them weren't very good though. Day 71, I died because the temperature was too low this time. This is so annoying. And I just harvested crops for the rest of the day. Day 72, I found a new village and this librarian trading advanced sharpness one, which is sharpness but better. However, I completely forgot about it and didn't buy any. I also died again because it's too cold. Oh my god, I hate this. Day 73, it was so cold in fact that I just ended up placing a lever bucket in my house to warm me. And then I experienced my first mob event. Of the Watch them crawl. It spawned a ton of Gorgomites everywhere around my house. It spawned so many in fact that I got from level 6 to level 32 by killing a blight one. 
I also crafted a reforging station, which allowed me to change the quality of my boots from crumbling to protective. I also did the same terrible decision to put in breaking three on my helmet. And remember the lever bucket that I placed at the beginning of the day? Well, that put my house on fire and summoned cinders, which made the fire spread even more, and I died. Then I died a couple more times. And on day 74, the fire finally disappeared. And so did my house. And I had cut so many cinders that it spawned an Argus, which spawns when you kill elemental mobs. And then I got killed by a Balayang. At the end of the day, I think the game gave me an advanced efficiency of 4 bucks out of pity. Day 75, I reforged my potion rings to get the undying quality and the punishing quality. I also decided to take my anger out on some mobs in the mega tower. Day 76, I just continued doing so. I even killed a blood zombie like this on day 77. Day 78, I died in the midst of everything. And on day 79, a witch broke my diamond boots. And on day 80, I finally had defense 24 and attack 24, so I can use dragon armor and weapons. Look at me, I look so powerful. Day 81, I tried to go at the top of the mega tower, but it was protected by this end crystal, and I couldn't break anything. So on day 82, I tried to go through the entrance, but there were so many weather skeletons, it made my game crash. And at some point, when I looked back on, I was dead. And so on day 83, I had lost my dragon scale boots. So I went back home and got Charmness 4, Advanced Fire Aspect 2, and on Breaking 3 on my Dragonbone and Jakus, and crafted some new boots and a Flame Dragonbone crossbow. Day 84, I remembered about my third objective of getting a flying mount, so I started looking for cramps to make avian trees, but I couldn't find a single one. I also remembered about the better questing mod, so I redeemed my Sans Undertale hat, which looks pretty cool. Day 85, I got power for my Dragon Moon crossbow, and I also tried the Bone Meal XP farm, but it wasn't as effective as I expected. Day 86, I went back to hunting crabs on the beach and salixes in the lakes. Day 87, I walked like a few thousand of blocks next to this river with lapis in my hand since it's something they eat but I didn't find any. Also, I was wondering what this something was so I decided to go into a cave which is a bad idea because I got dumped into lava by this vulcan and then died. Also, some mobs started dropping this Halloween treat item because it was Halloween season and it drops some core stuff like diamonds. And on day 88, I died a couple of times in the cave. Day 89, I made a new potion ring of strength using the blaze rods I got from the Halloween treats. Sometimes they can be tricks though, so you still have to be careful. Day 90, I got a few blaze rods, a trick, and some gold. I also went looking for silexes to make avian trees in the river. Day 91, I heard that there's a chance a silex can spawn when you're fishing, so I tried that too, but... It seemed like it wasn't working, so on day 92, I just went back to the old strat of holding a lapis and running next to the river. Day 93, I ended up finding this friendly structure, which has a secret entrance that goes to another secret entrance, in which I got some XP tomes, which can store up to 30 levels of XP. I also found a battle tower on day 94, but what I need are avian trees, not this. Day 95, I had 16 trees, so I was able to tame a rock. Let's go! All I need to do now is craft an avian saddle to be able to ride it. At the end of the day, I was able to enchant my leggings with protection 3, my boots with protection 4, my chest plate with protection 4, and a new helmet with protection 3. Day 96, I started digging down under this forest to hopefully find a troll, which will drop some ingredients I need to craft a saddle. Time was ticking as the end of the 100 days were approaching, but thankfully I found one in this cave. However, I was still one troll leather shorn from the saddle after killing it. So from day 97 to day 98, I searched around the cave for another troll, but I couldn't find one. As the end of the 100 days were very close, I gave up and went back to the surface. I was so sad. So on day 99, I decided to redeem myself by killing a dragon and oh boy, this fight actually went crazy.
I was just trying to kill a second dragon, but this one just straight up disappeared. I also lost my dragon scout boots at some points and I don't even know when. I rewinded the footage, didn't find anything, looked around where I killed the dragon, but there was nothing either. And on day 100, I made some new boots and enchanted them with projection 4. And for the rest of the day, all I did was fishing. I was so disappointed I got so close to my next objective but fell just short of 3 items. I was so sad it even started thunderstorming. Well, if you enjoyed this video, you'll probably enjoy this one where I survived 100 days in vanilla minecraft hardcore on mobile.